Star Wars Outlaws has a lot of quirks when it comes to calibrating the best settings, but we've got you covered. The first few are the easiest and should be turned off for every version of the game, so turn off both motion blur and film grain to begin. Film grain is found under settings, graphics, and is located in the basic category. Simply toggle it off. Motion blur is also found under settings, graphics, and has three separate settings you'll need to turn down. Motion blur intensity, camera motion blur intensity, and per object motion blur intensity. You'll need to do this every time you make an adjustment to your graphics preset on console by the way, so it may be best to tweak this after you've set everything else to your liking. Also use 16x9 versus 21x9. This will give you an FPS boost. 21x9 is showing off the same thing, but it's chopping off sections of the screen with black bars, which is odd and completely covers up K in sections of gameplay. This is one of the default options that are left on, so be sure you change it. Now, if you have 120 Hertz activated on your console, you'll need to select the quality mode 40 FPS option for the best performance. Not only will it give you the best visuals and a near lock 40 FPS frame rate, but it will also improve your input latency with a controller. Quality mode 40 FPS is the best overall experience. It should be noted that on the PlayStation 5, you will see some frame time issues, but generally speaking, it is still the best option on both platforms with the Xbox Series X having a bit of an edge in terms of stability. If you don't have access to 40 FPS quality mode and your only choice is quality versus performance, then I recommend quality mode for its consistency. In our test, it was usually locked near 30 FPS for most sections, and if you do choose performance mode, you'll have a higher frame rate, but it's not nearly as stable as it should be, and you will see dips below 50 FPS in certain sections of play. Performance mode also introduces some odd issues with shimmer and in-game reflections, which is why we're not recommending it here. So to recap, use quality mode 40 FPS if it's available to you, or quality mode, set the game display to 16 by nine, turn off all motion blur, and turn off film grain. Now, if you've never set up your television, PlayStation 5, or Xbox Series X to take advantage of your 120 hertz television, here's how it's done. On console, your best settings will always start with your television. We'll be using a Samsung model as an example, but refer to your manual for more specific instructions should you have a different model. On our Samsung TV, the first thing we'll wanna do is turn on game mode. This will allow us to use a higher frame rate and variable refresh rate on both consoles. Now on our console, we'll wanna set its output at the highest resolution and frame rate available with variable refresh rate turned on. The TV settings will allow you to turn on these features. Having these settings set to on on the console level will allow you to turn on these features in any game that supports it. Under your PlayStation 5 console settings, turn on variable refresh rate, 120 hertz output and auto low latency mode or allm if your television supports it these settings should always be left on regardless of the game you're playing as it'll often smooth out performance issues or unlock new options in titles like marvel spider-man 2 that you otherwise wouldn't have in addition be sure you select hdr should your television support it for the best looking visuals possible on all your playstation 5 games on Xbox Series X, you'll want to start by ensuring your console settings are set up correctly. To do this, go to Settings from your Xbox dashboard, then under General, go to TV and Display Options, under Advanced, go to Video Mode, and if your TV supports it, select Allow Auto Low Latency Mode, and also set Variable Refresh Rate to On. In addition, select HDR10, HDR, and Dolby Vision for gaming should your television support it. And those are the best settings we recommend for Star Wars Outlaws. I completely realize that everyone will come to their own conclusions about what they prioritize with the game, but this should give you a much smoother overall feel, which is what we're always going for with our recommendations. But let us know if you found something that worked better for you. And if you'd like to know how to unlock a speeder boost ASAP, we put together a quick guide on how that's done. And for more on all things gaming, keep it here on IGN.